7. Sunset tomorrow, 6.34. This message is for test purposes only. Test. 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 The National Weather Service in Louisville has issued a test message for the Kentucky statewide tornado drill. This includes all counties in Kentucky and is valid until 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a test message. This is a test. Repeating, this is a test message for Kentucky statewide tornado drill. There is no severe weather occurring at this time. This test message is part of the annual Kentucky tornado drill. If this was an actual severe weather event, a specific severe weather product would be issued with information about the hazard. The National Weather Service, the Kentucky Emergency Management Agency and the Kentucky Weather Preparedness Committee encourage the use of this time to activate and review your severe weather safety plans. Repeating, this has been a test tornado warning message for the 2022 Kentucky Tornado Drill. This concludes the test. This is a test message. Repeating, this is a test. This has been a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast stations in your area. Equipment that could quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, an official message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. a test of the National Weather Service Emergency Warning System from Atlanta, KEC-80. This test is conducted at approximately 11.30 each Wednesday morning, weather permitting. If this had been an actual emergency weather situation, the warning alarm would have been followed by an actual watch or warning. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, will occur even if you are using a quality receiver in perfect working order. 
To provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will normally be activated for warnings in selected watches within a 40-mile radius of your transmitter. This area includes the following counties in the Atlanta listening area. Cherokee, Clayton, Cobb, DeKalb, Douglas, Fayette, Forsyth, Fulton, Gwinnett, Henry, Newton, Rockdale, and Walton. This concludes the weekly test of the warning alarm system. We now return to our normal weather broadcasting. Which is 305 below normal. is a routine weekly test. This is a test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm device and emergency alert system. During potentially dangerous weather situations and civil emergencies, specially equipped receivers are automatically activated to warn of the impending danger. A test of these receivers is conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, weather permitting. In the event of the test being canceled, it will then be rescheduled for the next day between 11 a.m. and noon. This is NOAA Weather Radio Station KIG-79 operating 24 hours a day on the frequency of 162.55 MHz with transmitting facilities in Davidson County. This broadcast originates from the National Weather Service office located near Nashville. This service is provided in part by the Metropolitan Nashville Office of Emergency Management and the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency. Repeating, this has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially equipped receivers are automatically activated to warn of impending danger. The alarm will be activated for severe weather watches and warnings, or civil emergencies, affecting the Middle Tennessee counties of Cheatham, Davidson, Dixon, Macon, Maury, Montgomery, Robertson, Rutherford, Smith, Sumner, Trousdale, Williamson, and Wilson. This concludes the test of the NOAA Weather Radio Warning Alarm Device and Emergency Alert System. We now return you to regular programming. Cloudy was... This is the National Weather Service in River 10, Wyoming. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System for Northwest Wyoming. The following counties and transmitters are covered by this test. Teton County by KWN39. Yellowstone National Park by WNG686 and WNG667. Eastern Park County by WNG563. Bighorn and Washington Counties by WNG568. Carbon County of Montana by WNG563. Park County of Montana by WNG-686. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazards. Tests of the signal and the receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. on each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm, will vary at any given location. This variability can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver that is in good working order. We now return to our regular programming.
in dangerous weather situations, these specially built radios are automatically activated to warn for the hazard. Tests of these radios are normally conducted by the National Weather Service in Chanhassen every Wednesday at 1 p.m. If severe weather threatens the area near the normal test time, the test will be postponed until the next good weather day. The warning alarm will be activated for selected watches, warnings, and statements affecting central and southern Minnesota and west central Wisconsin. This concludes the test of the warning system. We now return to normal programming.
This is NOAA Weather Radio, the 24-hour voice of your National Weather Service. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning and alarms for transmitters in the Florida listening area from Ruskin, Florida. This also tests the same system, or specific area message encoder. The same system will alert only the county or counties affected by a particular warning. These tests are conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, and again between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. on less severe weather threats. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to regular programming. Thank <laughs> you.